Hello and welcome to the video on using differentials to estimate the maximum error when measuring the volume of a cube if the possible error in measuring the size is given. So this is an application of differentials as I mentioned and our first step here is to look at the information in the problem, see if there is a geometrical shape that's being described and if so what the formula is that relates the shape to the other information in the problem. Here the shape is a cube and we're relating the volume of the cube to the lengths of its sides. From geometry that formula is that the volume is equal to the length of the sides cubed. Now we look at this and we want to say well what is the estimate of the maximum error measuring the volume if we have a possible error of the sides and that's related with as I mentioned before the differentials. So recalling that the derivative dv ds is here we're going to use the general power rule s cubed's derivative is 3s squared. I can then go and say well our differential then relationship is that dv is equal to 3s squared ds. Now one of the important things to remember when doing these problems is you don't want to plug any numbers in for an entity in the problem that could be changing until after you find the differential. So now that we have the differential we can go ahead and plug in the information that we know. We know we want to have the side length to be 10 inches, so S is 10 inches. And the possible error in measuring the sides is 0.25 inches. That's your DS. So now we can go ahead and plug that information in. We're going to plug the 10 inches in for the S and we are going to plug the 0 0.25 inches in for the DS. So we have DB is equal to 3 times 10 inches squared times 0 0.25 inches. Following our order of operations we have 3 times 100 square inches times 0 0.25 inches and that gives us that dv is equal to well 3 times 100 times 0.25 is 75 and inch squared times inch is cubic inches.